Hello everybody, this is Green Guy, and today we are going to be playing some more Graveyard Keeper. And we are going to learn how to make some black dye today. Uh, it's a little later in the game that you can start making the black dye. Um, but first thing is you need to learn how to make conical flasks. You learn how to make the conical flasks under your technologies and under smithing and down here at the bottom. So you want to be able to get the conical glass or flasks, the advanced ones, the normal ones won't do anything for you right now. Um, so get the, uh, the advanced ones there. Once you have the research for the conical flasks, you can also, you're going to also have to make the furnace too. And then you need three of these normal guys to make the advanced ones with water that you get from your well right over here and if you don't know how to make glass yet it's really easy you just go find the little sand pit they're all over by the rivers they look like mounds of dirt um, dig it up you get sand uh, mix it with the water from your well right there and then you can make the conical flasks so once you have the conical flasks you want to run over here all right once you have your conical flasks you want to make the alchemy workbench uh, you need the two conical flasks, uh, three complex iron parts, and uh, six wooden planks. Once you have those, you just come over here. I already had one made up, but it's right there. Um, you pick the resources, and then you can mix them together. Well, before you mix anything, you got to have the resources. So, let's go get what we need. Alright, so before you head over to the Witch Clotho, I do recommend bringing the six flitch, the three planks, and the ten nails, because that allows you to build the bridge between her and a lot closer to your farm, or your uh, graveyard, I mean. Um, once you have that built, um, don't forget to bring a heal potion with you. Um, the heal potions uh, you can find in the dungeon, dungeon, or you can create the potion on the alchemy workbench, uh, just by squishing intestines, carrots, or cabbage, or... Um, or other things like that. I think there's only a few items that can make the health potion, but um, you should have quite a few of those by now if you've been farming and that kind of stuff. Um, or you can bring the cauldron from the blacksmith, um, or you can make your own. I haven't learned how to make one yet, but it's a lot easier just to buy one from the blacksmith. Um, easiest one, though, is to just get this health potion. So bring it over to her. Here's the health potion. Hmm, looks good. Let's try it. Oh, now I remember. I'm Clotho. And I remember where I hid my cauldron. Okay, now I'm back. So what do you need from old Clotho? I got some good stuff, you know. You won't find potions this good anywhere these days. Sorry, I couldn't read there for a second. Uh, hit trade. What you're going to want is the death powder. So I usually buy oops, all that she's got there, so the two of them. Thank you for the death powder. Or you could just straight up... I don't know if you can buy it. No, I don't think you can. So, once you have it, come back over here and then we'll build our bridge. I came prepared this time because I'm tired of walking through those woods. Alright, once this guy is done, we'll walk across it. And then I'll show you guys how to make the black paint. Alright, so let's go across this black paint here, or black paint, let's go across this bridge here. <laughs> hey, I'm not with it today, sorry guys. So you just throw the death powder in there, the water, and there you go. Alright, and then that is how you make some black paint. Um, thanks a lot for the video request by GNumNums. Um, also uh, appreciate the comments and all the nice words guys um, please leave a like don't forget to subscribe and uh, if you want to see anything else or need me to do anything else for you just let me know um, makes my life so much easier when I don't have to try to dream up a video idea <laughs> so just let me know what you guys like and need and uh, thanks again for watching thanks and have a great day bye bye